people of the purple butterfly here, otherwise known as people of seven, on Twitter and YouTube, people of elsewhere on the internet. My blog is located at purple butterfly dash people dot blogspot dot com, and my soaps, purple butterfly soaps, can be located at people dot etsy dot com. And my Christmas presents finally arrived. Most of them came from Hong Kong, Korea, China. And the time it takes to send it from Cincinnati to Cincinnati, Ohio, from those locations, reflects that. That's fine. I ordered them Christmas Day and the day after. So for it to get here, middle of January, when the average shipping time for those locations is January 26th, I'm really, really well pleased with that. What I got a problem with is people thinking they're going to put something over on me. Okay, I'm going to show you something. This is my wooden comb. Y'all all know this comb. It's kind of famous. It's got carved inscriptions in it. It's made of wood. It smells like wood. I have to oil it like wood. This is my ox horn comb. It looks like ox. Is rigid like ox, and I had to take and take a buffer and file off one little nib because it's ox, and sometimes little um, keratin things might make a little snag. But that's fine. This is an excellent ox horn comb. Okay, liked it so much that I decided to buy my family this for Christmas. This one is a buffalo horn comb. It's gorgeous. It's from um, Toronto, Canada, or Ontario, Canada. The post office is in Toronto. This took the longest to get here, and I don't know why. Canada's right across the border. But this person sent me no communication, no email, no nothing. And I was about to fill out the paperwork to, you know, say non, you know, buyer not sending the information, you know, the product, so forth and so on, but it showed up today. So I'm happy I got my product and everything. This is the real deal. It is buffalo horn, and it is hand carved. So they only get the you know, a star removed from the non-communication. This is a true ox, ox horn comb. There's two of them. I already gave mom one. This one's for my daughter. It's the gift set. She goes, what's all this stuff on the bottom? I said, it's decorations. It has a couple little beads right there to hang the comb on. And fortunately, so that way I didn't have to tell her all the directions in English, they do have some English directions, even though most of the label looks like this. And I already, you know, went like this and tested. Very, very rigid. You can see some of the nuances that makes this, you know, that makes you able to tell it's authentic, so forth and so on. In fact, there's a little couple of hairs that might need to be buffed out later because oxhorn combs is made with, you know, real stuff. And then we have this. Three or four things wrong with this. First of all, it says ABS right on it. Now, if I didn't know if that was the symbol for plastic, there's several giveaways. First of all, it has a sticker there. They traditionally don't put the sticker on the product itself because it's not going to stick to anything. Then there's this. Look at that. You cannot do that with a genuine ox horn comb. They don't bend. They're not flexible like that. And then, if I really, really couldn't tell, there's a couple of other issues. This is a piece of plastic, folks. You can see the little spots from where it went out the mold. But if you can't tell from that, look. It says, made in China. Right on it. 
because it was melted into whatever format they used. And then, on top of that, it's not even a good plastic comb. It has uneven teeth. Look at that. They send me some plastic. And then send me a letter saying positive feedback is appreciated. I don't give you positive feedback for fake. I didn't have to pay almost 16 bucks for a fake Oxhorn comb. Nope, 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 nope. I mean, this Oxhorn comb, which is smaller, costs more than that. And guess what? It's real. So, yeah, good luck on that positive feedback because that ain't what you're getting. Let me put her little thing back in here. Put they stick her right back on their package. Because not only am I not satisfied with this, I don't even think I'm going to bother to send it back. But I ain't going to use it for myself either. I'm going to use it to show people what a fake looks like. Anyway... This has been People 7 on Twitter and YouTube, People elsewhere on the internet. My blog is located. Ah, now that's definitely the real thing. You can always tell the difference between a plastic cone and a horn cone or even a wooden cone. First of all, they're gentler to your scalp. They don't snag when you do this stuff. And you can feel that tingle on your scalp. That's plastic you will feel static. That's all you'll feel with that. Anyway, people of seven on Twitter and YouTube, people of elsewhere on the internet, my blog is located at purplebutterfly com, and my soaps could be located at purplebutterflysoaps, which is com. Y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Yeah.